Hey guys, nscaler454 here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to talk about and wire two Pico N-Scale turnouts, the Unifrog and the Electrofrog. So stay tuned. The first turnout we're going to look at is the Unifrog. Unifrog gets its power from every single track connection point on the turnout. Here, 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 and here. And the way this works is this rail is connected to this rail from this jumper here. This rail is connected to this rail from this jumper here. This rail and this rail are connected with this jumper, and this rail and this rail are connected from that jumper. And of course, there is a connection point at the switch. Let me flip that back and forth. So there's power feeding from here as well. So there's plenty of power running through this turnout, which is why I'm not gonna run any feeder wires. Then we have the frog ray here, which you can see is separated by small gaps built into the turnout. And it's connected by a single wire that's wrapped around the track. And that wire, we are going to connect a small jumper to because the frog's power and polarity is going to be controlled by a tortoise switch. Like so. Couldn't tell you if it's better or not to cut this wire super short or not, but I'm gonna leave it relatively long so, so to make sure I have some extra. For the jumper, I am using 22 gauge stranded wire. I'm choosing green just to keep it color coded. Alright. Now I'm going to try and with these, I guess. I don't know if that's gonna work very well, but I will try. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm sure there are better solderers out there than me by quite a long shot. Why is that not, there it goes. So, and that one is done. Next we have the electro frog, which gets power only to the outer rails from these connection points here, 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 and here. The frog area and these inner rail connection points are separated by insulated joiners which means the inner rails get power from only one spot, which is the points connections right here. So when it's flipped this way, we have power that way, flip that way, power that way. That's not the greatest solution, and it's certainly not the most reliable. So we need to do a few modifications. So one thing we're gonna do is add feeder wires to connect this track to this track, as well as this track to this track, and that'll give us constant power regardless of which way the switch is thrown. But first thing we have to do is separate our frog section from the rest of the track. Now right now, the frog between here and here is connected by this little jumper, which is gonna stay intact. But we have to find a way to separate that. So we are going to cut the rail right here to separate the frog from the rest. Otherwise, we'll have a constant short and it just won't work. Now to cut the track, I am going to use a Dremel since I have access to one. As you can see, I'm using a pretty worn down cutoff disc, but it's going to be perfect so I can actually get in there without cutting the outer rails. Now I'm going to make my cut right here at this section where the track is the widest and the inner track is the narrowest, and that should give me my best shot of doing this without damaging the rest of the track. Just to be safe, I am going to add a little bit of tape on these outer rails, just in case 
I get a little sloppy. Well, we got our cut through, but as you can see, even though I was being careful, I did nick this outer track just a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, to add our feeder wires, the first thing I have to do is cut this plastic out the bottom of the track, so it gives me a spot to solder onto. So it looks like we're gonna cut here. Ooh, thick plastic. Evidently, that is thicker than I thought. So, I've changed my mind, and I'm going to use a Dremel instead. Now okay, we're gonna Dremel this out. So now we can do our jumper wires, and I'll take a quick rough measurement of how much insulation to strip off. Now this is 22 gauge solid core wire, and we will go roughly about here, put a little 90 in it, and if it's a smidge too long or anything, you can just trim it. So Boy, I'm lousy at solder soldering though. Well, it seems to be on, so we'll run with it. And then finally, I need to wire up the frog, so I'm going to put a little dab of, of solder here and try to wire it in at that point. There. I finally got that sucker. Aha! Got it. Now, of course, if you are using a tortoise switch, you will need to remove the spring that's found in here. So to do that, you have to get under here and flip these little tabs up. Let's see if I can do that without wrecking these tweezers. That'd be kind of nice.
And then the back side should pop off like that. Spring removed. And you can put this back on. Bend the tabs back in place. Like so. Make sure they're flush as you can get them. Good. So like that. And that's all you need to do. All right guys, these turnouts are wired up and ready to go. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.